Hi, my name's Mark Street and I work for Liberator Limited in the UK and Ireland. In this video, we're going to talk about one of those activities that happens in school. Every morning, circle time. People often say to me, I want to use the device during circle time. Can you give me some ideas of how we can use the device? Absolutely. You know, I was talking to somebody just the other day and I said to them, give me some idea of the things that you like to do during circle time. And in fact, one of the things was roll call or register, uh, welcome song, days of the week, weather, song theme and colours. So just getting somebody to think about those kind of things. How many of you would do this? Roll call. Maybe you want a yes or a no, or maybe you want the person's name. The welcome song, let's have the name of the welcome song or the word welcome song or let's sing the welcome song as a phrase. Day of the week, what day is it? Well, today's Friday, so we have Friday in there, but maybe we have other days. Weather, how is it today? Sunny, that will do. So we'll have sunny, windy, rainy, cloudy. Song theme, what's the theme at the moment? We could have Halloween, so it could be the word Halloween. Uh, and maybe a favourite colour. What's your favourite colour? Red, white, grey, we can have a choice of colours. How many of you would do a circle time like that? What I want to do is ask you to think about circle time in a different way. I'm going to ask you to think about it using core words, words that can be generalised and reused, words that we can share with one another and use in different environments, words that we can teach. So I don't want you to restrict your circle time activity by using just the kind of words that I've just told you or gave you an example of. Let me share my screen with you and I'm gonna share with you my iPad here. So this is my iPad and I'm currently using Lamp Words for Life on my iPad. Um, I'm gonna use Vocabulary Builder. So we're turn Vocabulary Builder on let me show you the words that I've got in my vocabulary builder. Bad, cold, down, drink, eat, finished, go, good, goodbye, hello, help, ear, hot, I, it, mark, me, mine, more, music, my, off, on, play, scary, sing, song, stop, turn, up, want and you. Excellent words. So I'm sure you'll agree that those words were a good choice, a good selection of high frequency core words that can be generalized and not just used around circle time. But let's use them during circle time. Let me give you some idea of how we can do this. So we might start off with roll call, various ways that we can do that. You might say... Here. Here. I'm here. Or even, I hear. I hear. Okay, who have we got in the room? Let's have a look. Is Mark here? I can even say, hello. Hello. Oh, hello, Mark. I could model. Hello. You could say hello. Are you going to say hello on your talker? Hello. Mark said hello, everybody. He's here. Mark is here. I don't need to be forcing somebody to be using their device. I can still model with the device. I can still use the device and hopefully the student is receiving that input, seeing or hearing what I'm saying and what I'm doing with the device. So you can see they're doing a roll call. Maybe rather than just getting me to say my name. Mark. Mark. Hello, Mark. Do you want to say hello? to three people, or maybe you want to say hello to everybody in this room, so we can go through. Hello. 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 And there might be six people, seven people in that room, but reinforcing that motor pattern to say hello, creating that opportunity, getting that feedback from somebody you're saying hello to, that interaction, think about the positivity that we're getting from that. And that's just starting off with general roll call. Okay, so we go to our welcome song. Okay, what should we do? We could play. Play. Should we play a song? Does anybody want to play a song? Who thinks that is good? Good. Good, yeah. 
we like the welcome song. We could have the word sing. Sing. You want me to sing the song? Oh, you don't want to hear my voice. It's terrible. Stop. Stop. Oh, no, you don't want to hear me. We can have the word song. 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 Who wants the welcome song? And that's me now asking the group. And again, I'm modelling on the device. Who wants the welcome song? song? And again, I'm just having that expectant pause, waiting for somebody to use that device. Don't put pressure on somebody. Does nobody want... Song. My song. We're just going to wait. Maybe somebody might come in. They might say... Sing. Sing! Oh, okay. I'll have to sing the song. Here we go. So there's lots of different ways to do it. You could even be modelling, I... I... Want... Want... Song. Song. I wouldn't necessarily, we call that expanding length or function. We wouldn't necessarily be expecting the individual to do that. They could just use a single word. But look at the different ways that we did that. Hey, who's ready for the morning song? Is that good or is it bad? Shall we sing? Shall we do a song? Who wants the song? Okay, days of the week. Oh, okay, I love doing days of the week, but let's think about how we could do days of the week. Yes, we can teach somebody Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I get excited with a Friday. Okay, think about it. You could have symbols on the walls with the days of the week. We can do this as part of a multimodal communication. It doesn't all have to be about the device. Maybe we could play the Monday song. Is it Monday? Stop. Stop that song. I don't think it's Monday. Let's play Tuesday song. Or we can go down the list. Is it Monday? And maybe some of the talkers could go, stop. 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 Don't think it's Monday. Maybe we could go down to the next one. Down. Down, okay. Who thinks it's Tuesday? Down. Down, and we keep going down until we get to Friday, and maybe we can say... Stop. Stop. Wait a minute. We think it's Friday. Who else thinks it's Friday? Yay, it's the weekend. So, so you can see how we're doing that. It could be a case of more. 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 Okay, it's not Tuesday. More. So you think it's Wednesday? More. More. Thursday? More. Friday? Stop. Stop. Or... It. It. That's it. That's the one we want. We like. Or... Finished. Can you see how that interaction, we could be singing a song about the day of the week, we could be using a chart, we can have flashcards, but we're using a really good selection of high frequency words that can help us to learn more and to generalize more. Okay, let's go to the weather. What's it like today? <gasps> Is it? Good. Good. Bad. Or bad. Let's have a look out the window. <gasps> mm, I think it's good. Good. What do you think? Remember that pause. Good. Do you think it's good as well? Absolutely. Well, I can see the sunshine outside today. So let's have a look. I think it could be hot. Hot. Do you think it's hot or maybe you think it's cold? Cold. Mm. Child says? Cold. Cold, absolutely. Although the sun is out and it's blue sky today, you're right, it is cold. Cold. I think we can stay inside today. We're not going to go out for our lunch break. So again, we can use and even bring in the words in and out and we can go in, go out. Song theme. Oh, well, it's nearly Halloween. OK, so as it's Halloween, how many of you would put the word Halloween into the device? Of course you would. Halloween, 
bonfire night, Christmas, and these words seldom get used. However, what about words related to, or that we can learn? Okay, it's Halloween. What do we think about Halloween? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Maybe you think it's... Scary. Scary. Oh, yeah, it's scary. We get frightened, don't we? We could talk about whether we like it, not like it, whether it's bad. Bad. Whether we stay in or go out. We can talk about it, we can share experiences, but we can use these really exciting words, words that we'll continue to use for other activities. If we just say the word Halloween, ghost, monster, how often do you use those words? Let's think about introducing words that can be used. Okay, and then lastly, we're gonna go on to color. Oh, it would be so easy to talk about colors and then to say, what's your favorite color? And then just say red or green, but what does it tell us about that? Maybe we can have a color chart there and we can go down or up that color chart. Maybe you can tell me if it's a good color or a bad color. Maybe you can tell me to stop or use more. Maybe we could talk about colors of foods. Okay, I've got a red apple and I've got a green apple. You tell me the red one, do you like red? If you eat that, you tell me eat. Eat. Eat, you'd eat the red one. Is that because you like red? Don't be afraid to get a visual, a gesture. It could be sign or for you an island, it could be laugh. It could be a multimodal communication. Remember, if you're doing it another way, if it is a sign or a gesture, this is an opportunity now to use a word on the device, to think about a word on your device. So if you're not doing this already, if you're using LAMP Words for Life or the Unity vocabulary, print off a smart chart, have a smart chart available, know the vocabulary that you're working with, plan ahead, think about how you can use these words. I could use these words in a cooking session. I could be reading a book. I could be doing circle time. I could be playing with a toy. In fact, I could use these words in lots of different ways. And that's the important thing about choosing the right words. It's about being able to generalize with those words and about being able to use them in multiple ways. I hope you found this video useful. I enjoy doing them. If you've got any ideas for any more videos, please email me, mark at liberator.co.uk or contact me on mobile 077 You can WhatsApp me. And lastly, if you require any support, contact us at Liberator on 01 770 470 470. Thanks for watching.